Hey everyone, it's Kim, your Thursday mommy here on Growing Our Kids. Um, this week's topic is um, money-saving ideas, and I'm here to share with you our family's um, tricks for um, saving money. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom, so it is uh, uh, desperately um, needed to cut our costs and budget um, um, you know, more than ever now. So the first thing um, we'll go through is budgeting. Um, my husband and I use this program called Quicken, um, and we get um, um, or we connect our bank, our credit card, our mortgage payment, things like that, um, to this program, and we plug in um, the information on what we want to spend or what we want to put in our budget. And um, it just comes out for us, which is really uh, quite interesting. And it's able to we're able to keep up with it and um, and get uh, um, you know live updates on how we're doing um, with spending and things like that. So um, budgeting either on a program like that or an Excel spreadsheet or even, um, just writing things down and what you're going to spend each month or putting money in envelopes. That's another thing um, I've done in the past. And once you're done with that money, you know, you're out of luck for the month. Um, it'll teach you how to budget your time and money um, a little bit more wisely. Um, <clears throat> another thing I do is coupon. And um, I know there's a really big stereotype out there that um, people who coupon or um, couponing in general are for, um, you know, unhealthy and prepackaged foods and things like that. But actually, there are numerous websites out there that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, focus on um, like organic couponing or couponing at Whole Foods Market or, um, you know, this uh, sunflower farmer's market that we have out here, um, things like that. So, um, you know, you really can't go with the stereotype that couponing is only for junk food and prepackaged food and unhealthy food because it really isn't anymore. Um, so with that said, um, we get four Sunday papers, um, which have tons of coupons in them. And the rest of the newspapers that we have, or the rest of the paper after we take the coupons out, um, are donated to the local animal shelters, the SPCA, or um, like a children's, um, there's a children's art um, center here that we donate coupons, I mean, that we donate um, the newspaper to, so we're not wasting um, any paper there. Um, and with that said, too, we I use a, a price book, which is pricing on an item that we purchase that might be um, different um, costs at different stores. So I know if, you know, um, ground turkey is on sale or cost this much at this store, but I've write, written it down that, you know, another store had it lower than that then it would help me to see if that sale at that store is um, a good deal or not. Or just compare items at your, you know, different stores in your area and just um, jot them down in a notebook or whatnot. <clears throat> um, the next thing we do is we use our enter an entertainment book. And I'll put all these links for these um, things I'm talking about below. Um, the entertainment book is just a book full of um, coupons um, within a certain area of town. So there's, you know, there's different areas of the country and you just buy this entertainment book for that area you're in. Um, it has anything from restaurants to fine dining to um, children's activities to um, golfing, wine tasting, um, uh, things like that. So um, we use that um, and it costs anywhere from 25 to $40 depending on what time of year you get it, but you definitely save money back within maybe two or three coupon uses. So it's ac actually a, a pretty good deal. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, two of the biggest ways that, um, that save us money and also make us money to tell you the truth. Um, 
are the it number one the just between friends sale it's um the link is down below and that is a children teen um and maternity consignment sale um that have that that include toys clothes shoes books um, anything and everything um, and what makes this uh, unique is that you can put your items up for sale you make money off of what you sell um, you know a certain percentage and then you can also shop other people's items um, and you know get clothes at great prices that um, are um, gently worn and they look like new so um, that's a, a really great concept and then after everything's done if people um, wish to donate we donate to our um, family um, services here out here um, where I live um, and then the last one is uh, called peace love and swap and um, it's across the United States as is the just between friends sale but what's unique about this is that um, it puts local kids, it, it puts local kids clothing, it, it puts together, there it is, it puts together local kids clothing and gear swaps, um, like, you know, um, strollers, um, carriers, things like that, um, in different areas of the country, and you bring items and then you can pick items so you don't necessarily pay for items it's just as long as you bring you can take um, and then from there if items aren't picked up or, or um, taken away then they donate to local charities as well <clears throat> excuse me and then um you know the last thing you could really do it's on the same um, kind of wavelength is that you can um, swap and trade clothing and toys with your friends or family who have children um, similar ages as you are, uh, as yours are. So um, we do kind of do that a little bit with toys and books so our kids don't get bored with either. Um, yeah, so I mean that's that's a, a really big thing is to just, you know, keep things, um, you know, trading and swapping and consigning and um, just keep it going around and sometimes you know you can find really good deals at um, different stores where you know you can't get anything you know a better price for a child's pair of shoes or you know a shirt that's new like on an off-season sale at a Target or Walmart um, so you can you know stock up and load up that way but um you know, that's pretty much it for our ideas. The budgeting is the big thing and the couponing um, is a big thing for us. So um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them down there. They're always welcome. And I will put um, all the different links to the ideas that um, I mentioned in the video um, down below as well. And I hope you guys are doing good. And I will see you next Thursday and have a wonderful weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye.